Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. First point to note is that um, for us to be able to successfully succeed, and I just want to go back to the statement that I made earlier, we, we must accept that we, we, we have to first and foremost design a social contract with our people that best fits um, our particular uh, circumstance and to acknowledge that standard democracy in a time of growing nationalism and uh, ethnic tensions we need to be able to look at that from a different angle and that's why we're saying for example democracy first past the post in Kenya has proved to be not only not unsuccessful but unsustainable and that is why we're, we're trying to engage each other to see how we can come up with a social contract that always allows for inclusivity so that there are no groups or regions that feel left out. That social political stability is fundamental for us to grow a sustainable uh, um, a development path or a sustainable uh, economic uh, path with sustainable and progressive growth. And if you look at some of the crises that you're seeing emerging in different parts of the country is that we looked at their economies but once the, 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 the political factors kicked in um, they're struggling. We in Kenya want to flip that over. We want to say that yes, we are interested in economic development, economic growth, but we more importantly want to fix the social political <laughs> contract because that is the foundation that presents uh, future stability. So our, our key focus, number one, is that. And that's why we're also saying we want to now begin engaging the world on that basis. That is why we're saying. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below.